Hey there on the Sao Cow and today we're probably gonna finish Pocket Adventure, like unless there's like further surprises. We got all the things except one last thing. Chaos Emerald. Yeah, in Last Utopia, Space Bay, Space Place. You know that gem, that emerald that's stuck to the back of uh, Robotnik's ride? Well, yeah, see that he puts there? That's legit! That's the fifth Chaos Emerald we have to collect. Now, I did express surprise last time I played this and how, yeah, I like, see you can interact with it. That's meaningful, it turns out. You gotta knock it out. Oh man, the weird hit, hit laws. So if you bounce, then you can bounce on him, then you can bounce on the gem, then you can bounce on him. It's weird. As long as you don't bounce on the same thing twice. Oh shoot, no, don't shake me or bother, I'm a young boy. All right, well. Uh, then I'm going to do that. Then I'm gonna wait and bop. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> then I touched, you know, the unmanned cup holder that held a Chaos Emerald. Nothing's gonna fry your hedgehog more than the unattended cup holder. I'm probably gonna not make it. Yep. <laughs> wondering if you can, like, bounce from one to the other in perpetuity. That'd be a fun way to do this. Ah, oh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, what? No, nope, didn't count. Ah, uh, Zengief, Red Cyclone. Hope you like my commentary. Experience cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, Robotnik face? Oh no! No, don't be dead yet! No! No, I- Dang it! Why are you so fragile, Robotnik? Now I gotta jump myself into space. Because of you. I want your gem! I don't want your life! I just keep hitting that crystal, man. <sighs> sure. Look at that mirroring on that planet. Kinda looks like Robotnik in cloud form, addressing the, the crowds, not the clouds. Common mistake. What? Alright, I guess I must have hit the back side of the truck. Yeah, alright. Released. I got it. Very awkward. Now I just need a win. Okay then. <laughs> that was pretty well done. Very equal amounts of damage is done here. Alright, now I need to not fall in space. Oh wait, he's going away! Robotnik didn't stop here, he just full out ran away completely. I guess that's gonna seek into our next adventure. Yeah! Supersonic! Here we go! Alright, hey, that's the Sonic and Knuckle finale. Like, this is just that it, straight up. <laughs> We're not even hiding it. Chaotic space! Music doesn't seem particularly fitting. Alright, so I got- yeah, no, this is the same thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing it dam damage to it, though. Oh, am I supposed to, like, hit the missiles at, or... Like... Yeah, I can hit that, and... What if I do... Okay, so, got it. I cannot damage you... myself. So, you press, like, the... a button, and you do a dash, and you do that into the missile, and that flings them forward. Because if you're not in a dash, yeah, that happens. Uh, but, like, I'm a little confused because I thought I'm pressing the button, maybe I'm not pressing it fast enough. Good thing there's random rings in space. Alright, so... You do have an influence on the direction you're missile flinging. I like how this isn't really a race, like, there's not, like, that whole, like, catch-up aspect of catch-up of... The original time we saw something like this. Yeah, I know this is not gonna work, oh, Cal. But see there, maybe it's because I touched the nose of the missile. See, no, see there, it doesn't really matter. Eh. It's kind of hard. Well, it's mostly it's kind of awkward. Oh, man, okay, well. There we go. Yeah! Explosions! I need rings. There we go, thank you. 
so this isn't super hard, it's just way awkward. <laughs> but hey, wouldn't be Sonic if it was- so I guess I'm just pressing the button like too late, and it's not parsing the, the dash part of the dash attack that I'm trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, I need to eat some rings here. Give me some of that salty sweetness! So, I don't know if, like, there's something else I'm supposed to be doing, but then I just got hit by a missile and his robot suit slid right off of him. Here we go, the delicious center morsel! Oh no, Robotnik's burning up on re-entry! Sonic got through extra! Yeah, he got through extra, that's... that's one way to say that. <laughs> Man. Pocket Adventure, pretty good. Um, overall, like, as a package, it's pretty good. It's unfortunate that one, Sonic looks naked here, but mostly I'm talking about, it's unfortunate that it's mostly Sonic 2. I'm guessing that when SNK was told, hey, you can make a video game using our hot property, maybe they didn't want to, look at that bunny. That is one happy bunny. Uh, I guess maybe they didn't want to take too many risks, like they wanted to play as safe as possible. And I guess that meant just remaking Sonic 2, mostly. There were new bosses and stuff, and the bosses were fun. Uh, the, the bonus stage, the special stages, I mean... I appreciate what they were trying to do, I just think that the execution on some of the ideas was lacking, like, personally. Like, if you could see things down that tunnel, like, if you could actually see down the tunnel, uh, like, for the most part, it would be a completely different adventure, like, a completely different experience. I don't know what happened there, but no, yeah, really glad I played this, we're still not quite done. Because I want to I wanna take some time to look at the option menu and stuff, and like, that, that's gonna be its own thing. And, uh, yeah. So, pocket Adventure. Like, I legit did not know this game existed until I was compiling the game list for this project. Mostly because, like a lot of Americans, I don't really know about the Neo Geo Pocket Color. <laughs> like, at all. Uh, according to reviews of this game and stuff, this is, however, probably one of the top game of that portable console. I mean, it deserves it. Like, I've, I, I, I'm repeating myself, but yeah. Excellent game, but it's mostly Sonic 2, which is also a, so a mostly excellent game. Just with, like, some stages removed. Uh, whoa, that is an awkward trick doing their Sonic. What is going on? You're gonna fall. <laughs> SEGA! Sega!